and one of the things that we have to uh, uh, be mindful of is, is that when, when we're in the presence of God and, and now we have God's heart, sometimes uh, the song will have to shift and then you'll move into intercession because of what you're experiencing out of the song, what we're singing before the Lord. And so now we're, we're now petitioning God in the midst uh, of the song. And so because now we have a revelation of the one who we behold in now. And so um, I, 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 was, I, I was saying, Lord, I know that there's a, there's a song, there's a song of the Lord that has to come forth out of this worship, out of this time. And, and as I began to seek the Lord during the time of worship, then that's when the song of the Lord came forth, you know, uh, 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 let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart you know, be acceptable in your sight. And of course, the other part is, oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So out of that song, God began to deal with me, and these are the words that he said. So write this down. <clears throat> he said, when you meditate or ponder on who I am, and what I can do, not only will you have fellowship and communion with me, but you have all the God. Hold on. But you have access, I'm sorry. But you have access to all the God that I am. So now what does that mean? <laughs> oh hallelujah. Mm -hmm. just, just, just think about that for a minute. As we are, as we are pondering, as we are meditating, and that's why David said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my Son and my Redeemer, is because he was fixed on God. He was, he was solely focusing on God. So what happens, what happens when we are in that place of communion and fellowship with God, and then we have access to all who God is. He now begins to see that we have need for him. He, he now, from his perspective, he now begins to see that we have need for him. And then when he sees us, then now he becomes the God who we need him to be. For instance, uh, your financial situation, he knows that he has now, he now has to be the sufficient one for you. You're all sufficient one. If he sees you sick in your body, he knows that he needs to heal you. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, if you're bound by any circumstance or situation, he now understands that he needs to deliver. Oh, my God. Amen. Oh, my God. If, if, we can, if, we can just, if we can just get this truth, if we can just understand that revelation, that when we begin to behold him, we have access to all the God that he is. Oh, my God. I just... I, I, I just can't get past that. So, 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 so then we won't be wrestling with, with, with things that have been uh, distracting and frustrating us because now we understand that we are in communion and fellowship 
with the Father, Amen. and that now he is all the God to us Amen. that we need him to be. Amen. Oh, my, 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 my. But it comes through that meditation. Mm -hmm. Joshua said it like this in Joshua 1 and 8, and we're going to get to the, to the teacher. He said, and this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, mm -hmm. but thou shalt meditate Day and night, which which which, which uh, signifies your consistency. Mm -hmm. right. right. Day and night right. to observe to do all that's written therein, and it says, then you will make your way prosperous, and thou shall have good success. So. My, my, my question and my admonishment to you. And that was sorry. That was Joshua. What? Joshua one, verse eight. My question and my my admonishment to you is, how much time are you really meditating on the mm -hmm. Word of God, mm -hmm. or are your life circumstances and situations keeping you occupied or too busy to just be still for a moment and just ponder? On the word of God. Mm -hmm. And I think that, and I believe that, that, that the reason why uh, we fail in our spiritual warfare strategies is because we don't be still enough to listen mm -hmm. yeah. and to hear right. what God uh, is, is commanding through his word. If we could just sit still for a minute and, 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 and don't get so busy and and, and carried away with what you're experiencing right now so that we can receive, first of all, the peace of God. Mm -hmm. You know, as the scripture says, that, and let the peace of God rule right. in your heart. Mm -hmm. That means like an umpire right. to mm -hmm. rule, like, you know, watching everything that's coming across the plate. Let the peace of God rule in your heart. Mm -hmm. See? To which also you are called into one body and be ye thankful. So that's the first thing that we need to receive the peace of God. And once that is settled in us and once it begins to rule in our hearts, now we can be able to clearly hear the voice of God as we sit and meditate on his word. Yeah. Amen. 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 So we want to, not only as a corporate ministry of intercessors uh, and watchmen and prophets and, and uh, 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 and prayer warriors, if you would, but individually, you want to be able to come to these places in your life where you need to discipline your own personal life in this area of meditating on God's word. Amen. Amen. And one of the things that I know is, is already happening and things have already shifted. Y'all remember when I said that the Lord is changing our watches? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. I have to keep going back to that because, because things that I'm seeing as far as the what's going on in the church and with the people and, and all of the all of the, the administrative situations and what have you, somebody is sleeping. And, and as I begin to uh, ponder on this thing, then the Lord began to, to open up Matthew 26 to me. And this is where we want to go. This is where we want to go. Tonight, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. This is where we want to go tonight, and so that we can understand what prayer will do. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, Matthew twenty-six verse thirty-one says, "Then Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night, for it is written." I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. 
Peter answered and said to him, even if all are made to stumble before because of you, listen at Peter, I will never be made to stumble. Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you that this night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Now, he ain't say one time. He said, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, even if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. So everybody That's came in everybody agreement mm -hmm. with the same thing. Mm -hmm. But let's turn to Zechariah 13, okay. verse 7. Mm -hmm. I want to make a point here in just this, uh, 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 in these few uh, scriptures, I want us to see something here. Zechariah 13, uh, uh, verse 7. What does it say? 13, one. 13 verse 7. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd. Uh huh, read, read. Mm -hmm. Who is close to me? Mm -hmm. Declare the Lord Almighty. Strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered, and I will turn my hand against the little ones. Uh huh, mm -hmm. see there? See, now. Now, Jesus gave a prophetic word to Peter. He said, it's already written. Mm -hmm. But look, look at, see, because Peter didn't understand the prophetic word, he had a spirit of blindness. He couldn't see that. Because if he saw that, then he wouldn't have responded the way he did. Jesus said, Jesus said that. <laughs> he said that the night mm -hmm. is going to be the night where the sheep, y'all going to be scattered. Didn't he say it? So what I want to say prophetically when it comes down to the word of the Lord, what, what the word of the Lord has already said and spoken concerning matters that's going to take place if, if we're not in agreement with what the Lord is saying, we got a spirit of blindness on us. If the Lord said it's going to rain, and you're going to say, <laughs> Peter heard a prophecy, but he was blind and ignorant to a truth. Right. Jesus knew that he was, on, he was operating in a prophetic moment in his life because now it had to be a fulfillment of what right. Zechariah had mm -hmm. prophesied concerning what was going to take place right. on this night. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So he knew the prophecies. Jesus understood his place in the prophetic word of the Lord mm -hmm. concerning him and his life, and his ministry. And now here he is in a moment of fulfilling the prophetic word that Zechariah spoke concerning him. But Peter said, uh-uh. Even if, even if we do be scattered, listen at him. He said, even if we do be scattered, oh, I would never, 